Um, I hope everyone is doing well, and I uh, hope you're all eagerly uh, watching for the Lord to come. Well, I just want to let you guys know that yesterday I was just um, trying to figure out in my head, like, when are you coming, Lord? When are you coming? And just trying to, you know, figure it out. And because, you know, um, if you're getting ready to see Jesus, you want to know, you kind of want to know when, although, of course, I know it says no one uh, knows the day and the hour, but, you know, uh, just for curiosity's sake, I was trying to figure out um, when he's coming. And, of course, um, we have the false feast days coming up. Um, in a week from today is the start of uh, Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year, and then we have the Revelation 12 sign on September 23rd, and then of course um, the feast days that continue on through um, into October, ending with um, Feast of Tabernacles. So. Um, so definitely a high watch time, um, and especially this year with, like I said, the Revelation 12 sign and the Jewish year 5777, I figure that's, uh, that has to mean something. So, um, so anyway, I was just trying to figure out uh, when he's coming back, and so... As I was um, going over this in my mind, um, usually when I do that, I usually think, okay, so it's probably not today. It's probably uh, this day or this day. And so um, I was just kind of thinking that. And then um, I all of a sudden got this feeling like the Lord could just um, come get us in a way uh, that is not expected, like... Um, I'm sure we all have our expectations of maybe what will happen before the rapture and uh, but I just had this feeling like he would come get us he would snatch us away unexpectedly and like we would just be going about our daily business and perhaps the day of the rapture would start start out as an ordinary day and um, Perhaps it'll still be ordinary when it happens, like it'll just happen and um, just kind of not the way we expect it, or at least not the way I expect it. And so I just kind of got that feeling. And then um, as soon as I got that feeling, I was like, well, Lord, you could come get us today. <laughs> and so, um, so yeah, and I still kind of feel like that now, even, even today, it's like, well, even though today's, um, I mean, sort of a high watch day because we're getting in a high watch period, but it's not really a day that I'm really, really expecting him. So that almost makes me expect him more because it's because of what I thought of yesterday. It's like he probably is going to get us on a day we're not expecting it and in a way we're not expecting it. So that really means it could be today. So um, I really hope this is encouraging and that um, just to reemphasize our, um, our proof is any day now, um, quite literally any day now. And so I think that was the main message um, the Lord wanted me to deliver is to um, expect our proof any day now and not necessarily to rely on your own understanding or expectations that he could come get us any moment now, any day now, and so I am super excited about that. Cannot wait to see Jesus face to face, um, and just cannot wait to be with him and to meet you all in the air, too, at the wedding supper of the Lamb. And so, um, yeah, I just am super excited and can't wait to see what... Um, what the, the rest of this month brings and with all of these um, birth pains uh, aka natural disasters and um, that have happened since the solar eclipse which I feel like was a sign to the bride and to the world too of um, that Jesus is coming and that judgment is soon to come and just um, so um, I am very 
encouraged by that, and I hope you all are just staying encouraged and continuing to seek the Lord. So I will see you um, very, very soon, any day now. Um, so yeah, love you all, and see you soon. Bye.